Do you feel like him when you get nuisance calls? I'm here to show you how to block him on your NEC phone system. All you need is the phone system's IP address, an account, like an installer account or an admin account, and the nuisance caller's caller ID. A lot of them do show caller ID. And you need to smash that like button. It really helps me out. So, so first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and enter the phone system's IP address up the very top in the address bar. And once you do that, you hit enter and you should get a username and password login screen. And once you get the login screen, you enter your admin account, user account, or your installer level account. Okay, I'll be this example will be using the user level account. Uh, so once you log in, on the left hand side you click on speed dialing number and name. I usually tend to go right to the end um, of the list and leave the first few entries for the customer to use. So I put the nuisance numbers in here and I'll just open up my phone, look up my numbers. Sorry guys, I've lost the number. Okay, this number, this mobile is a number that keeps calling me. And they've called me about three times this week. And this is another number that keeps calling me. So when I get a nuisance call, I usually save it on my mobile. And I do put it on the phone systems here and there. So now I just name it. So the following two columns are the ones that you need to do the blocking with, or the rerouting. So the transfer mode, you'll transfer it to an internal extension. And the destination number column, uh, that's where you point it to an internal extension. So if you just want to reroute the, call, the caller ID, you can put someone's internal extension in there. So no matter what number that caller ID dials, it'll point to that internal extension. Um, I've had to do that for someone's wife. They said my wife calls this the main number any number I want it to route to my extension which was good for them so now if we just point it to any invalid number so double nine double nine that's a, a internal extension that does not exist on the system so that will give busy tone okay so if we do that for all the numbers I'm going to put my mobile number in there as well because the best way to do it is to put your own mobile number in there Block it, unblock it, test it, and make sure it does work. So I'll point my mobile to 9999 as well. And I'm just going to call the number. Okay, it's just connecting. I should get busy. Yep, so I've got busy tone. So now if I unblock the number. call back yep so now I've got ring back tone I'm just gonna hang that up yep so if we just try it one more time just to proof of concept so if I go back in there internal dial double nine double nine apply call back I should get blocked again definitely okay so I hope that uh, helped you out with the nuisance calls but also if you want the call to go directly to a particular handset only you can type in 101 or whatever extension number it is and that will, no matter what number that number will call it'll route directly to that extension only 
even if they call the fax number, an indial, the mean number. So that's a good way to reroute calls. Okay. So I'll just delete my mobile because there's no point in it being there. Apply home and log out. Always remember to log out, guys. You don't want to leave the session open because if you want to come back in, you won't be able to until it times out. Thank you for watching guys, make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it really helps me out as I do enjoy making these videos for you guys, and hit the subscribe button, thank you.